there are so many non-traditional fun ways for kids to learn when they're inside this weekend, mm -hmm. including using editorial cartoons. So here to tell us more about this, Amy James from Knowledge Essentials. Amy, we appreciate you coming in today. Well, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming in. Okay, so last week we talked about comics, and today we're talking about editorial cartoons? Right, and there's a big difference between the two. Okay. A comic strip can be about anything. It's about a story, just a funny story or, or characters that you make up. Mm -hmm. But an editorial cartoon is something that a kid will really have to take a look at current events, what's been happening happening in the news and then come up with a way of presenting that that's clever that you know might be an, an, an the opposite of what the news story actually is right but a way of conveying a, a, a really deep understanding of that current event and then you know what their opinion of it right so I know you're mentioning current events and that's all obviously in the curriculum for many kids mm -hmm. but what's the educational aspect of this why do why do we do this well gosh we've had editorial cartoons from the beginning of newspapers and from the beginning of politics and so you find a lot of c cultural events within historical editorial cartoons that you don't find in textbooks. So you might find the actual public attitude about the New Deal that mm -hmm. you might not see in a textbook that's describing what the New Deal was when, in Roosevelt's term. Mm -hmm. So you know they just provide a, a great aspect that you don't always see, and it's just it's a huge you know important part of po pop culture, and they're not going away. And so it's an interesting way to delve deeper into certain subjects areas and teachers love to do that. Maybe working on grammar skills as well. You never know. <laughs> you know you, you've got that right. Yeah, okay. Let's go on to the next thing, and that is the grade levels. What grade levels are kids usually getting into? They're, they're really introduced to it about 7th or 8th grade, mm -hmm. and then they use them as tools throughout the rest of school. And so from the time your children can understand a certain news story, you know, they are able to, and you can talk about it with them, they're able to produce an editorial cartoon. And maybe they start with a poster that just tells facts about that news story, and then it evolves into an editorial cartoon as they grow older. Tell us about blogster.com. Blogster is so fun. <laughs> I've been having so much fun on all of these sites lately because what's happening is that they're they're free for parents and during this economy these people are realizing they should have free services. So Blogster is something that we have embedded into the wiki and it's a service that allows you to make editorial cartoons. It, may, it gives you the graphics and all of the parts just like we had for um, the service last week, Pixton. And you can insert video, pictures, sound and you can make a poster, you can make a cartoon and then embed it within your wiki and the neat, neat thing about what we've done with this is we've also pulled a story from news9.com and put the story that matches what we've done on Glogster on our wiki page. So parents might want to just go pick out a story on news9.com. We're, we're working with, with the um, website department to make sure that they can grab that code easily mm -hmm. and then you can target your children on exactly what you'd like for them to, to represent in their Glogster poster. All right, so much information. So you could get that on the PB Wiki. We've talked about that in recent weeks. Or do, or, organizational family tool. Amy, yes. We appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Okay, so for more learning ideas from Amy Jameson to, you know, get the ideas that we talked about here today, click on our website, news9.com. Look for the Scene on News 9 tab and scroll over to First Tip 4.